Uh, San Jose Silicon Valley Chamber is part of our shift and pivot uh, focus on the economic development over the course of the last three plus years. We have conducted several business walks, uh, I think seven in total business walks. Uh, two of them have been on the east side, first uh, on the Story Road corridor and then on the All Rock corridor. And uh, those reports, uh, there's copies of these reports uh, on the table over there. Um, the purpose of the, the business walks is actually for us, and I should give a shout out to uh, Bridge Bank, who is our presenting sponsor for um, our business walk series, is the purpose of us doing a business walk is for us, the Chamber of Commerce, to actually get volunteers and Chamber staff on the ground doing grassroots business retention expansion strategies, knocking on the doors and asking businesses really three questions. How's business? What problems do you have? And how can we help? And then we try to provide them with the connections, the information, the tools, and the resources, whether it's through us or through other entities, to help them be successful. And one of the tools that we use is creating a, a, a report that we use for our advocacy moving forward. We can find out what some of the problems are in a specific corridor and then use that to advocate uh, on the 18th floor and to use it as a little bit of a, um, a tool to make sure that we're sharing real information from real business owners. Um, so the chamber can have an active role in advocacy. Um, to that end, um, the two folks I'm about to introduce were instrumental uh, in um, <coughs> both, actually, Dennis was very helpful in both of our business walks, where for the first time, we actually took translators with us out in Spanish and in Vietnamese into the community. Um, so these business walks, um, we have learned, are far more successful if we can get out and outreach to people uh, in not just English, but in their native tongue as well. So our job probably as an association may probably try to connect all sub businesses in terms of uh, how to communicate with clients or uh, customers uh, via social media if they, do don't, if they don't have a website. That is probably the way we can probably help them communicate with clients. Resting on some hope that in the spirit of collaboration with this chamber, perhaps with some new energy at the City Hall, we're going to find a way to be able to present some very real solutions to some very significant challenges right now. Uh, in, in doing the walks and any future walks, I think that if that information, whatever is gleaned from there, is really important for us in terms of how we form policy, how we advocate for our businesses, and how we develop relationships. And so I'm really looking forward to being able to um, continue developing that relationship with both the chamber and the ethnic chambers.